Here we are in uh, Royal Natal National Park and this is the Mahai campsite. I think one of the best campsites in the world. Can we say that? All right. Well, I often get asked about what we take when we go camping here in South Africa. Now, this is not a mega road trip. This is kind of a long weekend camping trip. So what I thought I would do is, well, show you what we take by showing you everything having to go back in the truck. You've got the, I'll put a link hopefully to the future shelving system video that I have in the back here. That really helps things keep sorted. Now we're a family of four and conditions were rainy, changing rainy this weekend. It's blazing sunshine now. I want to wrap this video up and get out for a trail run because it is absolutely spectacular up in the mountains today. I'll put a couple of photos here. But this is all the gear and I'm going to show you what goes into packing up. If you're new to the channel, well, welcome. And if you're a return uh, subscriber, well, great to have you back. Thanks for tuning back in. Here we go. And one jug, some camping pillows, our bed sheets, tablecloth, one extra food bag. That's our emergency road kit. That's what we have for us so far, right? What I find with this system is that it's the bulk and stuff that gives it really the rigidity, so it keeps it all together. This is our bin of tent pegs, cans, lanterns, extra fuel canisters. Kind of miscellaneous. All of our get out of jail free cards. Camping stove, single burner. Spices and sponges and stuff. What else we got here? Tent. So now we have just the clothing bags. Those are gonna go in and last. And I'll show you a picture of the camping table and a couple more supplies that we have. We have our pots and pans and dishes, kind of our eating stuff. And this is what it looks like with the shelving system. So the benefit is that I can take out the cooler if I ever need to without, or we can even open it and access some stuff. Meanwhile, all the things are here and I have my ratchet strap here that secures the load from being able to you know, fly forward if we ever have a, a traffic accident 
But the benefit of having this system is that it just keeps all of our stuff together. And when we do stop for a night somewhere, we can take out the clothing bags, usually which go up on top because they're nice and light. You can't even see underneath the top shelf. And we can also just use the bottom shelf uh, or we can use the bottom shelf and the top shelf. It's pretty handy. But that's what we use for packing. And I, if you'd like, I, I can put in, right in the comments if you want me to include our packing list, a paper copy that you can download and check and you know, see what things you get inspired to bring with you next time. I don't think we pack too much, but as you can see, we kind of pack for contingencies. I don't really feel we have a huge amount of excess of gear, but well, here we are. And we seem to fill the truck. So right now we just have the clothing bags to go back in and we have our camping table. But well, thanks for watching Better Preparedness. What goes into your camping? Do you, is there any kit that you find we're totally missing? Now there's a few pieces of kit that are up in the front of the car and things but generally speaking like we got some umbrellas doesn't really feel like we have a huge amount of extra but here we are seems like we always fill the truck but i definitely definitely find that it pays off to have kind of a sorting system because that's what keeps our sanity especially when we do multi-stop camping trips well thanks for watching better preparedness click that like and subscribe button and well see you in the next episode Sadly, it is back to the city for us from Mahai campsite here in South Africa.